Uh, hey Hi, there, YouTube. guys. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> I'm glad you reminded me oh, yeah, of wait, that. I have we started? Yes, we've started. Yes. Yes. That, that was him about to start. <laughs> that, was me. Ah. that was me literally trying to do an intro and getting already screwed over. So, uh, yay. This is a good start. Should we carry on? <laughs> oh, I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you. Someone's internet took a dump. Did, yeah, did... that was me. That, that was me. I think the um, dude who installed it today said that it would be funny for twenty four hours. So uh, sweet. Let's find out. Um, okay, begin. <laughs> Dude, you fucking ruined it. Hey guys, welcome to Rogue Trader. It, she... <laughs> it's another session of Rogue Trader, you? and my my soul is dying already. <laughs> So, as you get uh, a very quick uh, recap for those of you who need recapping, uh, even though we've do already done one for the stream, uh, they went off to, they they landed footfall, found a job, went to Malaysia, took some prisoners up to Malaysia, uh, and then heard uh, they they bombed a bit of Malaysia because there were some hold up prisoners there. Uh, heard that there was a. Uh, cargo ship that had gone awry somewhere down near Grace. Uh, last contact was at Corpse Fortune, and they're off looking for it now. Uh, on the way, they created a fight club. Uh, Pi now has a dude with a chainsaw who, uh, I, I, yeah, just kind of destroyed someone else in the fight club. And that's pretty much where we are, at Damaris now. Cut. So... You guys have just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I think it was the warp. Yes. <laughs> so. Come on, sheep. We haven't got all day. You got. <laughs> so you guys have arrived at Damaris. There yes. you are. That was lit, wasn't it? That's literally where. Yeah. <clears throat> I, yeah. I, I, it was I, like we came out of the warp and then ended immediately. So. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. was this where all there was like asteroids and shit, and we were scanning it? No, no, no. no, no. That, that was the no. test one. That was the test one. Remember? Yeah, that was the test one. Um, so we literally know nothing. We just came out of the warp, and now what do we see? Uh, scan it. Scan. It. And that's that's well, we can we can use our eyes first, I think. We're, we're not even sure we're buying. <laughs> you can't. Them. You can see the. <laughs> Wow! Shots fired two seconds in. <laughs> I can see through the magic. What can you see? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> He's fine. Just images of giant phalluses in space. Phallic space phallus. <laughs> Did you just say child phalluses? Images giant. of giant. Might have been. How dare you? What's <laughs> going uh, around your head, Pius? Don't you? Um, uh, well, does, does our, our tacky guy want to want to scan it? Yeah. I mean, in the, let me just show you, tell you what I can see in the dome of observation. Okay. Um, <laughs> something that feels very much like space. Like it is space. You're right. You didn't even have to roll perception or anything on that. Should we just then um, leave then? <laughs> which can which we... you <laughs> like to roll a scrutiny cube to see what you see? Yeah. Can we, can roll, we get you a periscope? <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking kidding me so you you send you send your senses all of them except for sight of course uh out into the into the void and you can tell that there is a planet indeed uh quite a long way away because your navigator is as um as previously mentioned very shit uh but it's there there's a planet uh you don't sense anything much there you you think no, there's there's some signs of life, although you're not sure what type of life. Actually, no, you do. Yeah, there's there's sentient life on the planet. Ah, so I can feel some sentient life. Uh, do you want me to see if... Uh, why don't we scan it with our machines before I start... No, I mean, you rolled a bullet. one, mate. You, you, you can... Uh... Do you want, do you want to tell us what it smells no. like down here? It smells a bit... green. I want to scan it. Actually, it smells, smells very green. Okay, uh, go for it, mate. Do you want me to scan button? What do I need to roll for that? 
Uh, oh, you need to. Do I at all? Uh, tech I'll... use. Tech. Tech use. I'll do it for you then. Oh, no. uh... <laughs> oh, you got it. But that—that's not how it goes. It's uh, like this. There you go. Uh, yeah, you succeeded. Um, it's uh, it's pretty much what uh, what Re uh, Remy, uh, what uh, Esteban Throb, um, Mister Throb to you, Mister what Mister Throb thought he saw, um, uh, thro thought he sent. Sorry, it seems to be a fairly fairly lush but overgrown jungle world. Um, very limited signs of habitation. Looks to be pretty much in kind of a feudal state um and very spread out and uh yeah it, it's uh that's 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 what you get basically does anyone does anyone know anything about this this planet i don't <laughs> what, what what would that be uh Can that science? would be a common law or something yeah it would be a common law let's something. land on it yeah. yeah, let's yeah. just go to it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's just find let's... out what's down there by going down there. <laughs> let's let's be very clear about this because last time when you were at football, someone asked if you could land on football. Are you talking about a landing party in like a in like a shuttle? Uh, Are you yes, talking about your I ship? Don't ship on it. want to destroy the ship. So yes, <laughs> okay, I would good. like to send it some shuttle action. Okay. Um, uh, oh, I want to go. A shotgun, me. May, may I go Don't down? Don't say that to Pi, mate. He will actually do it. <laughs> shotgun who? What? Stick a shotgun <clears throat> in my mouth. Um, so do you want to go... Are you... Are you uh, Franz, who are you taking with you? Yep, they can all come. That's fine. Okay. We're just going down to have a look at this strange planet with grass. You know what, guys? I, maybe someone should stay on the ship. I, I have some ability to pilot it, if worst case scenario. And um, are you planning I, to I steal my ship? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I can stay. I'm going to stay in telepathic contact with you. So it's all right. Tyrion, or, or, Tyrion's going to stay. Our, just, just use our wet radius. T Tyrion's going to stay on the ship. That's fine. So you guys can all go down if you like. Uh, all right, fine. I'll, I'll get down. <laughs> um, oh, wait, yeah. is Ter wait, 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 wait. Is Tyrion? The slave of pies, whose ears... No, that's, that's Kiske. Did he rip off someone's ears in front of him? Uh, are you still wearing the ears, Pi? So, sorry? Are you still wearing the ears? No. No, no. You, you took them off. You don't need to yeah. disguise anymore. No. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to disguise myself as a human. <laughs> okay. Um, so, oh. whereabouts are you guys wanting to land? Like, there's uh, one... <laughs> There's one fairly large. Um, there's one fairly large area of. of clearing. Uh, uh, well, it's, it's clearing, but it's it's got a fair amount of fortification and you know actual buildings. And there's other like you know kind of nomadic looking type. Uh, um, what? I guess. I, I don't think we should just go land straight in the middle of some primitive settlement. They're going to piss on us. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep keep in, keep in mind that often when the Imperium colonizes a planet, they literally dump random people on there and go, "There you go, we'll come back in ten thousand years or something." <laughs> so, um, can I? They, do you want me to see if they've got an astropath on the ground, or is, do you not want to warn them we're coming? Um, I mean, odds are there probably is an astropath amongst them. At the very least, you can frighten him because he doesn't understand his powers. So go for it. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, uh, sheep. I'd like to use astral te telepathy nearby system. Is yeah. That right. Yeah. Um, to see if I can communicate with a. Um, see if I can communicate with a, a local astropath. If he doesn't uh, understand what's going on, tell him you're God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll do a C three P on him. That's fine. Um, Alrighty, ready. So, what am I rolling here? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Nearby system. There we go. All right, and I'm just doing it unfettered, so I don't accidentally blow myself up. Okay, that's always good. Oh well. You have no <laughs> idea. Could so be... all you guys see is me like meditating in in the dome of observation. However, I'm not looking kind of out towards space. I'm literally in the doorway, <laughs> facing out of the room. 
<laughs> He's just looking at a wall, concentrating really hard. Um, uh, Captain, I, I don't think there's an astropath. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said uh, that to yeah. the cupboard. <laughs> uh, I Happily, you guys can hear me down the radio. I want to whisper to France. Okay. Hey, France. Yes. Well, what's going on? If if they're really primitive, we can take them as slaves and then sell them. <laughs> well, it depends on what's on the planet. We might be able to find a, a reason to keep them here. And make money off it. We could just take one or two. It's just you know. For, 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 for should we at least should we go into orbit around the planet first? <laughs> yeah, let, let's get closer and see if we can. Because we're we're still a fair distance out, aren't we? See if there's yeah, like. It's much easier for me to communicate if we're a little bit closer. Couple, so. cu couple hours, couple hours out. It wouldn't take you long to get there. Yeah, I, don't, I see no reason not to move closer. Sure, sure. Uh, Do so you know if there are uh, any hardware stores in there? Uh, I think you'd need a very, very, very focused Orgri or Cubal to roll very well. Oh, for we that can, to... we can, we can wait till we get there, I guess. Yeah. If we get to orbit, I've got a much better shot at communicating with someone. So. Yeah. Sure. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> he said to a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it, you guys. Um, okay. So yeah, a couple of hours pass. Nothing. Nothing happens. <laughs> This Aside is the moment from, you know. that, that Esteban Throb realizes he's still on footfall. <laughs> <laughs> did not, in fact, walk into the ship. <laughs> he, he walked into a bar, just like sat down and started. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, but nothing happens while you while you travel and uh, take up all a bit over Demaris. Um, you see no signs of any kind of spacefaring or, yeah. I mean, we could really scare the shit out of them by firing a volley of our orbital cannons into next to their settlement. Um, yeah, and then I, mean, I, could. Down could. My, I could then broadcast my telepathy down and say, I'm God. <laughs> <laughs> you now belong to me. Or we could just go see what they want. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I want to go quite that heretical just, just at this moment. Not not to an entire planet. I mean, I do. I should point out that you you don't even know if there's humans down there. I mean, the likelihood is it is. But do you want me to try and uh, now that we're in orbit, try and see if I can communicate with them again? Sure. Yeah, if, if we're close, so you have a look. <clears throat> Orcs. There we go. <laughs> so I'm I'm I've I've managed to send a, a message down to the surface. Uh, I, I'm saying, just kind of querying. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? No, that was the second message you come. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, so you're, you're not actually... Oh, that was a weird response. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a planet of babies! <laughs> Guys, it appears to be a planet of babies! <laughs> no, you, uh... You, um... Are you, so you're actually sending instead of trying to see if anyone's there? Um... But Astrid's Earthy is a message thing, I think. It's not. Well, I could listen for a message, I guess, just to see if there's anyone there. Yeah, I'm listening for Well, I'm pretty sure after saying hello, you're probably going to get a message back anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, that's why I'm if going hello. If you're saying hello, then you're sending. I'm just wondering whether you're sending a message. Yeah, yeah I'm sending it. I'm sending it. Okay. Damn, I'm sending it. Um, yeah, you don't get a reply. Okay, I'm going to send Although another message. Although you feel something. <laughs> I feel something. Okay. Yeah. It might be the I'm wall you just walked walls. into. It might All be right, something. I'm going to send another. <laughs> it might be the wall I've just found. Um, I'm going to send um, a, a, another message uh, down the same path. It just says, uh, "I'm coming for you. You will learn." Okay. It's time for time for this guy to get some disciples. Don't broadcast that. <laughs> Don't <make it>, what? <laughs> <laughs> Which part do you want to broadcast? No, no, it's it's fine. I, I didn't really. I, I said, I'm just send send a message down saying, you know, I'll be with you soon. <laughs> okay. And the laughing. <laughs> wow. Oh God. And communication. <laughs> Throb out. Well, all I wanted was a planet of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. Throb oh, you ruined this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling we're going to end up having to kill a lot of people. 
right. I think we should get. I think we should get down there first. <coughs> Oh wow! Okay, hasn't even done anything yet. Me? Yeah. What is there to do right now? Maybe, you know. No, no, I'm just saying, like, you haven't even done anything. You're already gonna have to murder an entire planet, man. Um. Okay. So, would you guys like to take a shuttle down? Yes. yes. And where would you like to take it? Where would you like to go? Somewhere with a harbor. Uh, you, you said that there was a, a kind of fortified, like an actual settlement. Yeah. Are we, uh, are we talking like castle, or are we talking like? Um, are we landing a bit far away so we can walk up sneakily to it, or we're just landing outside it, the gates? It would be fairly easy for you to either land kind of uh, a little bit, you know, kind of a few a few hundred meters out away from the uh, what you'd consider kind of to be like a palisade. Um, or you could you is, could is land. There a, uh, is there a White House lawn option? No. No? Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, so you can land kind of not far out from from the settlement, or you could land kind of a couple of miles out. Take it would take you a you know probably an hour plus to to walk there, but you wouldn't be seen landing or anything. Maybe we should do that. Mm. There's a few clearings about the place. It's 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 like pretty dense jungle. Let's do that. Let's land in the clearing, Captain. Yeah, that, that yeah. Then we know I, I, I think. Yeah. I think if we can't land on top of them and get the awe factor, like if we land outside the walls, then we're at the disadvantage. Yeah. So yeah, I think landing and, in and, a, a distance and, and let's not forget. Up safer. If we need to be impressive, I have got my sweet, sweet acrobatics. True. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Just never hesitate to call on, but um, because I love it. I can assure you, if I ever need you to do acrobatics, I will ask immediately. Celebratory backflip! <laughs> yeah! You do it perfectly. Same. Almost. Uh, how many crew members do we have on this shuttle? Uh, on the shuttle? Yeah. Do you, do, oh, do you want to take some, like, a kind of red shirt a away party going? Yeah, I think we should uh, well, take a couple to hold the, sh the shuttle while we're not at it. <clears throat> yeah, leave like a, a crew with the shuttle. Yeah, okay. Um, pre preferably at least... What, can, can we have a pilot with the shuttle, like an NPC pilot? Sure, yeah. So, so we're we'll, actually, no, we'll probably need an NPC pilot anyway, won't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's take that one, because I can always like t uh, telepathy him and get him to like get us out of dodge if we need to yeah yeah okay so you're leaving you're leaving you like you've okay so you're landed uh outside the baby fortress um yeah uh a couple of miles out and you're gonna leave a pilot and a, a squad or crew of uh like a small crew to defend it right yeah kind of 20 ish yeah, just 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 enough to if there's a problem they can defend it and yeah. come pick us up. Okay, and you're leaving them with the instructions that you'll either contact them to pick you up, or if there's a problem, come and pick you up at the town. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, that's uh, it. It all goes off. No, no problems. No hitches or anything like that. Um, and you guys finally, after a couple of hours, pretty thick jungle. Uh, managed to push your way out through uh, the clearing and to the settlement. Can I br can I bring Thail on that? Do you want to leave him? down there now? Do you want to leave Sorry? him with the shuttle or? I, I kind of just assumed he was with you anyway. Yeah. He he, yeah. he does follow you about everywhere unless you tell him not okay, to. Okay, so just when we leave the shuttle, yeah. I, I I put my arm around him and I'm like, Thail, I have a job for you okay. now. Go he doesn't sound happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> but just, you know, on our way on this uh, little expedition, pick up things you think look weird. <laughs> okay. And put them in this bag. <laughs> okay. So he picks up uh, here and puts them in the bag. That's, that's how I got my crew. <laughs> <laughs> and I will do the same. Thank you very much, Tate. Now, run along now. <laughs> and, okay. then, and, and I start picking up things. <laughs> Wait, you start picking up things, or he does? Uh, he, he as well. I, ju I just pick up the what I think look interesting. 
Okay. Just in, interestingly, as you're walking through a jungle, I don't know if you've ever been to one before, but there are lots of really interesting, like weird things in a jungle that can probably <laughs> kill you. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think that's that's the idea. Really, he's looking uh, for the yeah. things that can kill people, <laughs> like the snakes with eight legs. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, Franz, are you gonna allow the kind of the side <laughs> mission of picking shit up? Because that will probably add a little bit of time to the to the walk. No, 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 no time. You, you, you pick them up as you go. You know, okay. It's just... okay, okay. Then uh, no, I don't, okay. yeah, I don't, I don't think he's like searching for things. Just as he's wandering along, if he sees a pretty flower or a, a snarling insect. Yeah. Okay. A, lo- a little bug, you know, a small animal. Sure. <laughs> Sitting in the bag. In the bag. Okay. In the bag. <laughs> so uh, you come to the clearing, and uh, you have of course been noticed you know you noticed a fair amount of activity on the on the walls but um, nothing too threatening what do they look like humans just regular humans, humans. Uh, a bit battered a bit bruised and you know they don't they don't look in top condition um by any means some of them oh. look fairly do, do, do they kind of look like the peasants from a monty python movie uh, n- no. Have. What they, are the weaponry? Uh, weaponry is bows, spears, that you know, base. Uh, got nothing to worry about. Basic kind of iron age shit. Nearby. Franz, I see a few options here. <laughs> Either we blow up their main building and say we enslave you all. I like that one. <laughs> or we go in there and you take the sediment and make these keep your people. There's no other options. You should do one of these rather than the former. <laughs> nothing else. It's either kill them or enslave them. <laughs> or if I could put forward a, a third, third option. Experiment maybe. on them. Um, we could just go and speak to them. and see. I was actually considering I trying that speak. first. <laughs> ah, okay. I, I, I mean, for all we know, these people could very well belong to somebody else already. I see. You don't want no. to steal but slaves, I, you know. <laughs> that's, yes, that's just I, I, I acquire my slaves through legitimate means. Are we I am a legitimate businessman. To... Are we going to rename this rogue slaver? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, if Franz it, dies and Fly takes and Brack takes over the ship, then yeah, probably. Ah, that's <laughs> <laughs> On the no. plus side, these people wouldn't be slaves for very long. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard to be a slave when a dark elder has got his hand in your chest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fight shit. All right, all right. Let's 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 approach and see if we can communicate. We don't even know if they speak. Like should I say Gothic back? Or... Lo, uh, low Gothic would be the most likely. Um, sorry, uh, Pi. Uh, should I? I? I'm asking friends. Should I stay back or? Uh, or no, stay I think back? you should come with us and. Try to look mean. Sweet. Just sn- I put, I, snarl a little bit, you know. I put I put my uh, combat helmet on. You know how dark I look. Well, but, you know, their armor. <laughs> Actually, I don't. Really? <laughs> He's never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, you've, you are you like fully kitted out in your? Uh, oh yeah. In, okay. His okay. leotard. Yes. I'm leotard. pretty sure he showers in it. <laughs> you know, I got my black karma with the spikes and everything, and this tall helmet with glowing eyes. Yes, just okay. So, uh, as you approach the settlement, uh, you are hailed uh, by someone. Arrows? I was expecting arrows or stones. Possibly, <laughs> but yeah, uh, they they just challenge you and they say, you know, who are you? Which 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 uh, which settlement are you from? You know, etc. Oh, so that was in. I mean, as we under, one of us understands it at least, as you've told uh, us. It's so, in Logos. It yeah. It's, it's Logos. Okay, standard, yeah. standard, standard imperial speak. So Pi doesn't understand it. Well, he's got I a understand. translator still. I have a translator. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. fucking ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> if you ruin it, I'm screwed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Although it's not like you torture people to get information out of them, so it may not matter to you, mate. <laughs> 
Franz gives me an assignment. So I want you to do this and that, and all I can hear is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I go and torture people. It's, it's, it's like work. fucking uh, peanuts, you know. Womp, 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 stab someone. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, so yeah, um, how who would like to respond and how and uh, uh, hmm. I, I think I'll, I'll just tell them where I, I won't be very specific. Just, you know, we're from the obscene halberd. We 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 want to speak with your leader. Oh, I don't want to be like take me to your leader. Take me to your leader, but that's basically what you're saying. It's vitally important yeah. we establish whether they have a hardware store or not. <laughs> I think their hardware may, in fact, just be like hard stones and wood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this I, is where I, we uh, keep the hard ones. Uh, are we alone here, or do we have cr- uh, a crew with us? Uh, you left the crew at the. Yeah, it's just us at the. It's, yeah, it's so just but, okay. But you know, you could probably take the town by yourselves very easily. <laughs> so they're not. They're really not nothing much of a threat at all. Um, yeah, uh, you get happy with missiles. You don't have missiles, but I mean, you know, you do, like, but not with you. And you, you probably wouldn't want to be this close if you ordered a bombardment Sorry. of the city as well. So Sorry, I know I'm doing. I know I'm doing. It's okay. I know how to use a missile. Sure, sure, sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he didn't miss last time. Exactly. Uh, I just pressed the button and went where I wanted to. So uh, <laughs> the the guy who challenged you uh, when you were walking up, said, uh, what's the... F- uh, what the hell is the name? Obs- what's, the obs- what's the Obscene Halberd? We haven't heard of that settlement. Are you, uh, are you our reinforcements? Yes! Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, f- f- uh, have you brought, brought anyone else with you, or is, is, is this everyone? No, we are the elite force, and... The rest are camped uh, far behind. We were just scouting the way. We're the advance party of the, the, uh, the reinforcements. <laughs> well then, well then, that's brilliant. Come in, come in. Uh, we'll we'll take you to meet our, our chief. <laughs> well, <it's fine>. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, so they open the gates for you and uh, and let you in. And uh, there's a lot of strange looks at you guys because they're fairly you, you you don't look like everyone else you look clean i'm gonna you know and... make sure to walk with my like chest puffed out like i'm, I'm the tough guy because we're the elite soldier guys and 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 be very smug okay oh wait that's just me normally <laughs> <laughs> uh so um yeah they they take you to see the uh head chief guy he doesn't the really have chief. a he doesn't really have a oh, um... going to be a head Yes, like, yeah, they take you to see the head, and they go, "Look at this head, isn't it?" No, um, and they say, and he says, uh, "Hello, um, uh, welcome. It's so great to see you guys." Um, we that's guess, lovely. What's the situation? Uh, he says, "Okay, uh, I'm Salonius. I'm the head of the uh, of this settlement. Uh, we've been desperately sending out word for help. We've we're being raided by." Uh, aliens. Uh, we we don't know what they are. They kind of, you know, they just attack and D- kill everyone. Describe the aliens. Uh, green, um, loud. Uh, they they tend to be very feral and you know just yeah they're 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 basically unstoppable. It's it's all we've been able to do to to hold out. There aren't many of them, but they're very ferocious. Okay. You, you just, like, described half my crew. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> How long has uh, this been going on? Are, are, this, your, this are, are your crew Alien green? infestation? Um, some of them probably are. I'm sure something's <laughs> leaking somewhere. Uh, it's, leaking. It's, it's been going on for around a month. <clears throat> okay, can, I, can I ask, how, how did you come to be at the settlement? Uh, he says that they were they were just dumped here about ten years ago, and left so, okay. to fend for themselves. So you're from the Imperium? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. They they were right. okay. they were kind of you know. They deserters. No. Well, he he says no. They're not deserters. They're just 
they they're kind of like a colonial advance force, I guess, and they've Sound you know certain to me. <laughs> they're they're cages. Does, does does this head captain man seem intelligent? Um, reasonably so. More so than most of the others. You get the impression that he was chosen to be the leader before they left, mm. and uh, he's kind of a bit put upon. Are you? Do you have scouts out? Are you expecting another attack any time soon? Uh, he he says, you know, this is this is a fairly uninteresting planet. There's not that much, you know, uh, dangerous about it aside from these aliens, and they they've got no idea what where they came from or what they're doing here. So he, you know, he's not a he's not a leader. He's not a um. Well, well, uh, I'm assuming we're mostly alone with this guy. Um, oh, there, there's people milling about and looking at you, at you interested. You know, you're not, you're not in his house or anything. We're not you're like just, in the town square. And, uh, but you, you're just in, kind of wandering about the town. All right. Well, we'll just, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll explain to him that we are the crew of a rogue trader ship. Okay. Uh, you just kind of gauge does he know what a rogue trader is oh yeah no he's very aware and he's you know uh, okay, cool. suitably impressed as, as everyone is of course as he should be exactly yes. and he, he claims to have a green menace yeah does he have anything that he would uh, be willing to part with in exchange for removal of said green menace Maybe I some mean screws or an oil drum <laughs> I mean, they 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 get have very limited uh, contact with anywhere else. You know, they're they're basically stranded on the planet. They were left here. Who to, to who have you been? Uh, who have you been asking for help? You said you were sending out messages. Where were you sending those? Uh, well, when they were when they were dumped uh, on the planet, you know, some of the other. Uh, so some of the people decided to you know go out and you know, map out the world, like, travel and that kind of thing. They set up some se some kind of semi-nomadic settlements that they move about the place, so... Right. Uh, this, this, this would be considered the capital, although it's pretty small. There's, you know, a couple thousand people here. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, like, a hundred, two hundred people who would be considered soldiers at a, you know... Well, at a why stretch. are they here? Uh, they were commissioned. Were they commissioned? They were basically forced here by a uh, by another rogue trader um, who wanted who wanted the planet. Basically, he just they don't know exactly why he wanted it or anything like that. But he ordered it, and okay. they were forced here. So they're maybe not on good terms with rogue traders. Well, I mean, they know it wasn't you. So still. there's that, but yeah, no, not particularly. Well, what I suggest is that we stay here in this town until that orcs attack him. We capture one or a couple of them. We beat the shit out of them until they tell us where they're coming from, and then we go and eliminate where they come from. I personally would rather not try to capture an orc. Oh, I tried, you know, come on, <laughs> one. <laughs> Bring up some traps. <laughs> one for I feel like. And I feel like capturing an orc would result in us just bringing an orc into the midst of us and hit that orc then proceeding to do terrible, terrible things. I mean, we could probably try, like, dismembering it first. What about, uh, what about if uh, they attack and we kind of beat them so hard they run away, although I'm not sure if orcs really do that, and then we follow them they, back. They, they really they won't. It, they, they really won't. It really do I mean, uh, do any of you have uh, forbidden knowledge Xenos or... If you want to, uh, how, where, where, where can you see that. your talent? Is it a talent or a skill? Uh, it's advanced skill. It's a uh, skill, yeah. Uh, I th uh, or or if, if if any of you have, I think one at least one of you has uh, uh, law war. I have war. You have war. Forbidden law of war. Yeah. Uh, no war. Uh, yeah, he has war. Oh. Pretty sure you war. have war. War. Yeah. What is it good for? Uh, no, I don't think I have war. Let me check. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm I do. Sure Common Lord there War. You go. Yeah, Common Lord yeah. War. Okay, so I do that. Yeah. What am I looking for? Uh, do you just... green screens run our way ever? <laughs> yeah, you oh, just... Oh, they're out. Okay. Yeah, just, just about, you know, what you to expect from them, basically. Okay. Uh, yeah, so from what you know, you've actually had a few encounters with orcs in the past. Uh, and if if they're being led, then they can be very sneaky and very tactical. So if there's a knob or a, you know, some some form of fair... <laughs> what? A knob. A knob. A knob. Orc, yeah. orc, orc knob is like a... Uh, orc, orc, the yeah. biggest head. Yeah. Big um... Judging from what from the description of the the townspeople and uh, the the head honcho guy, uh, it sounds like they're just. F it sounds like they're, like they're not being led tactically. It sounds like a small band, probably. Uh, either Africa they, fun. well, either 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 they just randomly came to the planet and decided to stay, or some sometimes you know, orc ships just break. And crash. So they're probably they might deserters. be they may be survivors. Orcs really don't desert. They love war. So and it may, yeah, they may not like war with the particular person they're fighting for. Mm, true. Um, I, either way, we need to encounter them, don't we? So uh, I share yeah, my. We do, we do. I'm just I'm trying to figure out what's on this planet that a rogue trader would want. Well, if there's crashed orc ships, we might be able to salvage some orc tech. Orc tech, but the orc uh, tech is basically a, a hollow stick. I um, want a, I want a combi weapon. <laughs> I mean, we we could we could we could try something like that. But I'm, I'm like, you said that they were dropped here ten years ago by a rogue trader who wanted this planet. Yeah, there has to be something of value on this planet that yeah. that rogue trader would have wanted. That... I want to know what it is. <clears throat> it seems that like is... they don't know at the moment. That is not necessarily true. Uh, if you can, you roll. Do you you've got a uh, law rogue trader, right? Uh, yeah. If, if you roll that, apparently, uh, you sh you should have. No, I, I don't. I, sh I should have it, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should. Um, I, I don't. I don't see it here. Just to save us having to add it. Why don't you just roll a, a different law skill that you've got at, at level one? Ow! Uh, yeah, the only the only law skill I have is Imperium. Uh, yeah, roll law Imperium. That should be for that. That'll suffice for it. Because I think he is meant to have it, isn't he? Um. Oh. So, yeah, you. <laughs> Why can't you just succeed, eh? Um. I always succeed when it counts. Sure. Uh, so you know enough to know that, you know, sometimes rogue traders will literally just claim a planet because they can. You know, you you it, the the kind of feeling resonates enough with you that sometimes just throwing your power about is enough reason to claim an entire planet. Oh no, I can completely understand that. You know, he wants it because he he thinks it's it's his, but it's not. Well, no, it's mine. I mean, he. he... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is he he's clearly not really caring much about this planet from what you've been told. You know, he's sent random uh, a group of random people who he could just send that way, um, and given them the basic supplies and orders, basically, you know, colonize this planet, and then occasionally, you know, send some supplies and stuff, but really weak shit. You know, nothing. Uh, does our, ship have any, does our ship have any ability to scan you know, for something more specific now that we're in orbit? Because we, we only scanned it when we were quite far away from it. Um, I mean, what would you be looking to scan for? Would you be looking well, it, to is scan it worth the lecture scan if we can first of all find an orc settlement? And second of all, if we can find any minerals or anything of the like on the planet? Yeah, I'd quite like some cobalt. Uh, you, very specific. It is. It is can... a very pretty mineral. Pretty, uh, yes. Something else beautiful. as well. Yeah. Um. Well, I can. Uh, 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 you can scan f the planet for kind of composition. See what if there's any, you know, interesting fauna or 
minerals or anything like that that would be you know profitable but uh to scan for an orc settlement you know if there was if there was like a proper big grouping of them but it sounds like it's just a very small band yeah. of you know you wouldn't be able to find them no I was still debating like whether it's worth minerals. doing a like a hostile takeover of this planet anyway. I mean, it has orcs on it. It's basically ruined. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's you obliterate know. the shit out of it. I think it's your full first in, look. I think your first instinct, the Ray Drake, was right. He wouldn't have just done it. I don't think. No, that's what I'm. Yeah, like there's got to be so, something here. Of, so of I think we should we should help the settlement. They might not be telling us everything. You know, the captain guy might know more, but he might not be willing to tell us until we've helped him with the orcs. Well, it doesn't sound. Well just if not they're feral orcs, we should be able to. Yeah, but you know, Ooh, I don't, France. Yes, we should capture one of the orcs. Yes, Wait, not what? not to dismember him, but to make him a translator. <laughs> a translator for. Who? And how are we going to persuade him to comply? Oh, how are we going to speak him to speak? Of him. Base. Uh, I do have a um, a psychic ability to get people to do what I want. You do compel. Mm. Yeah, if if he doesn't learn our language, I guess we're just going to have to dismember him. But you know, we can try. It'd be fun. Sure. I mean, it might be easier just to try and kill all the orcs. Yeah. You know, yeah. for, for future encounters, you know, maybe we we just. I mean, we could we could go society. like, we could we could make like a head on a stick style orc. Like we'll just take his arms and legs off, and strap yep. him into a wheelchair, and just kind of push him around Nugget. whenever we need someone. Or oh, yeah, we call should, him Nugget. We should definitely like yeah, this we idea. Can, we can teach him low gothic, and he can be our orcist translator. Called Nugget. Well, I, I I don't feel comfortable naming him until we found him. I want to know him. He sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even met any orcs yet. I mean, on this planet. Well, we know Nugget. You see no hearts. Well, guys, I'm going to hit the hay. Uh, so I'm going to go find myself a little bed to sleep in while you guys slash. And, you know, I might just walk into an alleyway and fall over. Um, I'm just going to get, you know, an hour's, hour's kip. Wake me up if anything uh, uh, interesting roll, happens. Roll, roll scrutiny. <laughs> You wander <laughs> off, uh, fi find find a fantastically comfortable place to sleep, and yeah. have no idea the Spelled entire time uh, that you're actually sleeping in a stable with a couple of cows. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm fast asleep. Or you assume they're cows from the smell. <laughs> All right. So, what do you guys? Is pregnant women. I mean, you know, uh, from a from a big picture perspective. Uh, uh, Briquet knows that you know if you leave orcs, they do tend to infest a planet. Oh yeah, but they grow. With the number of orcs here, it would take quite a long. You know, it's only been a month since they started attacking, uh, uh, so you can assume that they haven't been around this planet long. You know, if if they uh, came here for some reason, then more may be turning up. Um, you know, and it could turn into just a huge massacre. Um, or if they've been ship shipwrecked, as it were, then you know it'll take them ages to just spread. And yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so let's see our options. Wait just for one the thing. next attack. Yep. Yep. Um, if we do blow it up, will we have time to scavenge everything we can find? Blow what up? Everything. Oh, the planet. Uh, what would you like to? What would you like? Where exactly would you like to scavenge here? Well, I had a bit of a shopping list. <clears throat> this is uh, basically a very backwards feudal world. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking they may have a few things like I don't know screws, maybe some. I don't know. Basically, that's probably all they have, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I think they're probably still at the stage in technology where they're just stacking rocks on top of rocks each other and saying, "Yes, this is a house." Yeah. Okay. Well, my <laughs> probably best bet is maybe something underground, then like the cobalt, maybe, maybe. But anyway, carry on with your. Options. I mean, if if while while these guys are uh, you know off doing their yeah. uninteresting human, -y, I'll do a scan. Fleshy things. Would you like to go back and take the shuttle up or call another shuttle in? 
I'd like I'll, to. I'll, I'll ask Francis permission to stay. Sure. I'll call, I'll call another shuttle, just a small one. I'll okay. go back up to the main ship so I can run some scans. 